copyright infringement. It is good for us to look at what copyright infringement is because plagiarism on its own is a part, is a kind of infringement. But let us look at what copyright infringement generally means. Copyright infringement is any infringement upon the rights of a copyright holder. Copyright law gives a copyright holder a set of rights that they and they alone can exploit legally. Those rights include the right to reproduce a work, the right to create derivative works based upon it, the right to distribute copies of the work to the public, the right to publicly display or perform the work. Now let's look at plagiarism itself. Plagiarism is a major problem for research. Plagiarism is when someone uses someone else's intellectual products and implies that it is their own. Plagiarism is reprehensible because it distorts scientific credit. In addition, intellectual, intentional plagiarism involves dishonesty. Music, literature, arts, and design can also be plagiarized. There are two major components of plagiarism. The appropriation of someone else's work is the first. This involves the stealing of someone else's work by copying. By the way, the stealing may not just imply like the normal stealing as far as dispossessing some, someone of his possession. The individual, the original author of a particular work can even give you his work to use and then you plagiarize the work. The second major component of plagiarism is passing someone else's work as your own by not giving credit to the person. Now, I want us to look at the difference between copyright and plagiarism. The key difference between plagiarism and copyright infringement is that not all plagiarisms are infringements and not all infringements are plagiarism. For example, a person can plagiarize almost anything, including words that are not protected by copyright. A person can even plagiarize a work that is not yet published. Words that are in public domain can be plagiarized, but because they are not protected by law, they cannot be copyright infringement on them. Also, plagiarism often covers things that are not covered by copyright, such as ideas, facts, general plot elements, are all things that can be plagiarized, at least in certain situations, but generally don't qualify for copyright protection. It's also worthy of note that one might get permission to use a work and still plagiarize it. For example, one may get permission to submit a purchase essay, which means that the use is not an infringement, but it is still a, a plagiarism as the work is not originally yours. To make matters more confusing, most copyright infringements don't really hinge on whether or not you use or attribute its original, the use is attributed to its original owner. For example, if you, if you pass out copies of a play without permission, it's not most likely an infringement whether or not you try to take credit for it. Attribution generally doesn't make an infringement action legal. In conclusion, you should avoid all forms of plagiarism. It doesn't cost you anything to acknowledge ideas and works used in the course of your research. Protect your reputation and that of your institution by ensuring that you do not morally or legally infringe on author's rights. Thank you.